All right, folks. Today's story might sound like someone mowing the lawn, but believe it or not, that's the sound of our main vehicle. A homemade helicopter from Uganda, crafted by none other than Joseph Nikaeza. Now, let's keep the long story of how he picked up one road after another, hammering, welding, and bolting his vision to life. The real drama unfolded on the big day, the testing day. Picture this, Joseph's helicopter, standing proudly in his backyard, its handmade frame gleaming under the sun. The engine's rod, not with that smooth, powerful hum of a backhawk, but more like an overworked lawnmower that was just told to do overtime. And then, it happened. The helicopter lifted off the ground. It wasn't a grand ascent to the clouds, but it managed to hover about 2 meters in the air. 2 meters, that's taller than most basketball players. For a brief glorious moment, Joseph's dream was airborne. The blades spun furiously above and at the rear, chopping the air with enthusiasm of a blender on steroids. The crowd gasped, some in awe, some in fear. But for Joseph, this was a victory. Proof that what he started as a wild idea had defied gravity, even if it was just for a moment. But then, reality kicked in. The machine, lacking proper balance and stability, wobbled dangerously, like a drunk mosquito trying to find its way home. Joseph, realizing things were getting out of hand, made the split-second decision to bring it down. But in a cruel twist of fate, Joseph tried to switch off the engine. But the rear rotor clipped the ground, sending the entire contraption crashing back down. The once majestic homemade chopper was reduced to a heap of twisted metal. Joseph didn't walk away unscathed. Reports say he suffered injuries, apparently breaking both his hands in the crash. But thankfully, he recovered. And let's be real, walking away from a helicopter crash in your backyard, that's already a win in itself. I'm sure after the incident, Joseph has been afraid to do another test flight because ever since then, Joseph hasn't done any other test flight. But here's the thing, what stands out most about this story isn't just the helicopter's brief flight or its dramatic fail, it's Joseph's resilience. Despite the crash, his spirit remains unbroken. His invention, though grounded for now, symbolizes the power of raw innovation and the relentless pursuit of one's dream. Think about it. The world's most famous helicopters, the Chinooks, the Apaches, and the sleek military-grade monsters were born in million-dollar labs with teams of engineers and endless resources. Joseph didn't have any of that. What he did have was scrap metal, a vision, and unstoppable will to create. This helicopter before the day of light didn't have a body. But as of currently, Joseph has built a body for his helicopter. Although it's not as perfect as you'd think, but it's something. <laughs> Although at one point, 
Joseph was even visited by the president of Uganda himself. I mean, who didn't want to see the first African who achieved the first successful test flight? Because to be honest, I don't think I've seen any African that has made a helicopter that has taken off ground. I used to see planes in the sky and wonder how they make it there. But one day when I was repairing a fan, it fell. But before it could hit the ground, wind lifted it. And I learned it from there that winds can lift and started on building a helicopter. So this helicopter is currently using a motorcycle engine and parts from a milling machine. It's not perfect, but it's something. Because building a helicopter from a motorcycle engine and having that helicopter fly is quite an achievement. Because a motorcycle engine doesn't have really that much power, especially when it comes to RPM. I mean, if you've ever seen a helicopter taking off that was built from a motorcycle engine, please comment down below because I'm interested to know which other helicopter has ever taken off using just a motorcycle engine. So this is how the helicopter operates currently with its new body. So this is how Joseph started preparing the body of the chopper. And this is how it operates currently. Although it's not perfect, I know it's wobbling excessively, but at least it took off. Though. There are some uh, foreign people mm. who are really interested in your works. Yeah, and they said that um, you have to explain to them so that they can at least help you in somehow. Uh -huh. if, you, if the Ugandan government cannot help you, mm. for them they can, they can at least uh, help you somewhere else. Yeah, that's great because... Because, because you are an African. Uh -huh. As you have said, uh, mm. completely the government mm. has, has completely failed mm. to put even a single coin. So it's, it's very hard uh, to push ahead, but I'm trying by all means. This isn't just about a homemade helicopter. It's about proving that innovation doesn't wait for perfect conditions. It happens wherever there's curiosity, courage, and a refusal to give up. Kahez has only been educated to primary level. That is schooling to the age of about 13. But after gaining experience in mechanics by repairing motorbike engines in villages in western Uganda, he taught himself how to build an aircraft. Joseph is quite an inventor because apart from creating this homemade helicopter, he's also created a few things, um, starting from his own motorcycle. A few cars here and there. And these cars that he has created are actually used in weddings now. So you can imagine at least Joseph makes something from his invention. At least he makes money from his inventions. At least his inventions are not just sitting somewhere in a garage. And let's not forget, this isn't the end of Joseph's story. If anything, it's just the beginning. So this car helps the, the village people to save their lives mm. uh, because it works as an, as an ambulance. So here's the big question. What happens when Joseph gets the support, resources, and mentorship he needs? Could his next creation be the start of something revolutionary for Uganda aviation? Could we one day see a locally made helicopter soaring over the skies of Africa? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because the next time we talk about Joseph, he might just be flying higher than ever.